Race number 73, this is the Women's Collegiate Varsity Cal Cup Grand Final. The Cushman Wellness Center at Chart Memorial Outpatient Pavilion is proud to offer therapies such as yoga, Qigong, and healing touch to help maintain your health and enhance your physical well-being. For more information, dial 882-SHARP or visit the website at sharp.com forward slash OPP. Goldfield Stage, the uh, shuttle service for the Crew Classic. We'd like to thank them. They're a perfect choice for your company outing, wedding, or wine tour. Whether you need to move 15 or hundreds next time, you have transportation needs, check with goldfieldstage.com. Ride the wave in style. Lane assignments for race number 73, the Women's Collegiate Varsity Cal Cup Grand Final. In lane number one, it is uh, Kansas State, lane two, St. Joseph's. Cal Sacramento is in lane three as we've had a start. University of San Diego in four, St. Mary's in five, and Stanford in lane number six. That's right, Alan. This is about down to the start. We do have a start of the women's grand final of the Cal Cup, and your early leader at the 100-meter mark in lane three is Sacramento State, followed closely by an overstroking St. Joseph's University, and then outside to uh, St. Mary's, and Kansas State University, the next level down with uh, Stanford Lightweights. As the crews are approaching the 250 meter mark, they're starting to shift out of their sprint and start to settle into the, into the race pace. It is the Sacramento State trying to hold off another burst from uh, St. Saint Joseph. St. Saint Joseph, after settling, has now burst up a few stroke rates and it's now pulled even with Sacramento State and may have actually pulled ahead by about a seat. But as it stands right now, it's basically level between Sacramento State University in lane three and St. Joseph's University from Philadelphia in lane two, followed closely by Kansas State and then outside to uh, St. Mary's and Stanford Lights. Now, of course, the University of San Diego is right in the hunt as well. All boats are well overlapped at this point. As we approach the first 500, St. Joseph has exerted himself and pushed forward by a seat and a half over Sac State in lane two, followed closely by Kansas State and outside to Stanford Lightweights and University of San Diego and uh, St. Mary's are holding a level in the next group down. But your current leader at this point now by two seats is Kansas, excuse me, is St. Joseph's uh, from Philadelphia and Sacramento State and K-State are now level for that second position over the University of uh, San Diego and St. Mary's and the Stanford Lights. It's going to be a great race as I turn it over to you. On the water, the Women's Collegiate Varsity Cal Cup Grand Final Lane Assignments, Kansas State University in lane number one. Our current leader, St. Joseph's in lane two. Sac State is in lane three, that's Sacramento State. University of San Diego in lane four, St. Mary's in, six, in five, and Stanford Lightweight crew out in lane number six. The Stanford Lightweights would be stoked to even be in this race, uh, duking it out with their heavyweight counterparts. The uh, form crew in this race, based on yesterday, clearly St. Joseph's University. They're the only crew in this race that broke the seven minute barrier yesterday. Uh, they did a time of 6.58 uh, in the heat yesterday. They've uh, certainly had a slightly slower start today. Sacramento State took it out early, but they, St. Joe's quickly held that and have pushed through them in lane two. But they're being challenged by Sac State in three and Kansas State in one. Approaching our 1,000 meter mark, it continues to be St. Joseph's in lane number two, but they certainly are having to contend with on their outside shoulder, Sacramento State. And along the shoreline, Kansas State, certainly still in the hunt, the outside four lanes, three lanes, would be the University of San Diego, St. Mary's, and Stanford Lightweights on the far outside. Yeah, 
Yes, the University of San Diego, the hometown crew, certainly haven't lost touch with Sac State, um, but they are trailing them and uh, struggling to deal with the challenge from St. Mary's. Uh, University of San Diego and St. Mary's, both West Coast Conference crews, and they that conference has its own championship at the uh, end of April, beginning of May, uh, right before the Western Intercollegiate Rowing Association Championship. And uh, obviously there's early season bragging rights up for grabs between those two WCC crews. But as we come down into the third 500, the critical 500, the big move seems to have come from Sacramento State, who are really challenging St. Joseph's at this point. Back in, in lane one, Kansas State are in touch, but uh, struggling to respond to the crews. Sacramento State have had to make a course change. Anytime that you put the rudder on, it slows the boat down. So that will not be a good thing to have happened for Sacramento State. And you can see they've upped the rating and are trying to pick up the ground that they've moved with that course correction. Well, that was very unfortunate for Sacramento State because they were just about ready to eclipse the lead crew, St. Joseph's, but they seem to have righted themselves and are right in the hunt. So it's almost bow point to bow point between St. Joseph's and uh, Sacramento State. Then Kansas State along the shoreline, then back outside St. Mary's has made a bit of a move, uh, then University of San Diego, and then the Stanford Lightweights. It'll remain to be seen if Sacramento State can continue the momentum that they regained after their course correction uh, that did slow them down just a bit as they were about ready to take the lead. Sacramento State on the outside in lane number three, St. Joseph's is on the shore side in lane two, and the two of those crews are right after each other with Kansas State not falling out of the picture and beginning to close on the outside is St. Mary's and the University of San Diego with the Stanford lightweights on the far outside. Well, we have a very close race here, very close all the way across the field. I think all the boats are pretty much in touch with each other. Uh, I'd be surprised if there was more than a length and a half between all the crews in this race. With about 2.50 to go there, Charles Kansas State kicked it in a little bit and they jumped up but St. Joseph's right now is fighting off the challenge of Sacramento State on the outside and Kansas State on the inside. On the way outside in lanes three, four, and five in that order, University of San Diego, St. Mary's, and Stanford Lightweights. Here comes Cal State Sacramento. Sacramento State challenging for the lead. St. Joseph's on the lead. It is Sacramento State on the outside and on the shoreline side. It is Kansas State. St. Joseph's clinging to the lead, about a six seed lead. Then outside Cal State by about a half bow length over Kansas State. It is uh, that Sacramento State on the outside. In the middle, it is still St. Joseph's. State, St. Joseph's trying to hold off Kansas State and Sacramento State. It is St. Joseph's apparently going to glide into the victory here. And it'll be very, very tight between Kansas State and the outside Sacramento State. Kansas State looks like they did not quite have enough, but we'll have to photocopy it and check and see. There are some that indicate that Sacramento, check that Kansas State did get up and capture that third, uh, that second position. Then to the outside, it was the University of San Diego, St. Mary's, and the Stanford Lightweights. Once again, St. Joseph's on the victory, very, very close to call. We'll give it the nod right now to Kansas State for second spot and Sacramento State for third as they waged a very spirited battle in the last 150 meters than the University of San Diego, St. Mary's, and Stanford University. Wouldn't it be nice to live right at the beach? Maybe the beach is closer than you think. Discover Campland on the Bay on Mission Bay right here in San Diego. Camp in an RV or tent. Explore the beach. Splash in the pools. Score at the arcade and have lots of fun at all the games and activities. While 24-hour park rangers keep your parents safe. Campland on the Bay. It's the beach.